All right, ladies, this is Alex from Mind for Attraction 2.0. And today we're going to be talking about how to deal with jealousy whenever you feel jealous for your man. Now, in this situation, it's more about over jealousy, not normal jealousy, but over jealousy, psycho jealousy, as I like to, like to call it. And a lot of women struggle with this because they're usually more competitive than men are in terms of everything, pretty much. Kind of, I don't know. But women are very competitive and they get very catty amongst each other. And then when they get jealous, they get crazy and stuff like that. But you gotta realize that jealousy usually happens because you find someone as a threat. You're usually not jealous of someone who is not a threat. It's kind of like success and having mentors. Your mentors want you to succeed, but not succeed more than them. Not all the time, but you know what I'm talking about. It is what it is, right? You can't, you gotta deal with it. And also jealousy is also normal and healthy. A good amount of jealousy but not an overly amount of jealousy so what how do you find out how do you find that middle ground okay the important thing about the important thing to find about that middle ground is is to observe the relationship you have with yourself if you're constant because again jealousy is good to a point I'm talking about obsessive jealousy where you are where you are the, where you are questioning everything that the guy does every girl that he talks to that's obsessive jealousy it becomes an obsession. It's not good for you. It corrodes you. It corrodes you and your relationships and the people in your lives. So how do you deal with it? The first thing you got to deal with it is realize that you got to have presence of mind. You have to be able to relax underneath that tension of jealousy. Because when you feel jealous, you usually hear, those men, you, you usually hear a mental chatter on overdrive. You usually creating, you usually creating future projections as to what would happen. Those future projections are based on your own insecurities, your own lack of, your, your own lack of happiness. For example, it's kind of like with a guy, right? When a guy's normal and you don't like him, you see him posting a photo with a girl, you assume that's a friend, right? His friend. As soon as you like him, she is, who's the bitch? That's what it is. Like, who, who, who is she? Who is she, huh? Like, every girl he posts a picture with is, is, is like a potential threat. It's because you like him now. I'm talking about not, not just liking him, but when you, when you feel like you possess him, when you feel like he's only yours, when you want him only for yourself. That's what I'm talking about. And that happens either A, because you have a bad attachment to, your, to yourself, like that, have, that means like you have a negative attachment, all right? or B, because he has become your, own, your, your primary source of happiness, which is finally I find my dream guy, finally if I keep him, I can finally have that relationship that I've always wanted and be happy because that's what everyone promises. See that, that's a problem because now... This is more than just a relationship. This, this, is, this means a lot more than that. And because it means so much to you than to what it means to the guy, which is he doesn't just like that he just likes you for you or for you. You don't just like him, but you depend on him to, for, for, to, to, to maintain who you are. It causes you to have an unhealthy attachment to the point when you have, when you have separation anxiety to the umph degree. So how do you do this? First, you got to learn how to re have presence of mind, right? So you do it through observing the jealousy. Presence of mind is being able to relax underneath, underneath the tension. So you do it through observing the jealousy. Hey, yo, I always go back down to self-awareness because self-awareness is pretty much the key. Man, is, are you, is that you again, bird? Back off, nigga shit. Um, so you have to observe the jealousy. So what you have to do is rather than feel jealous, right? Observe it. Become curious about your experience of being jealous. No, always go back to the same subject, but I have to do this because this is the same, the same solution. Because when usually when you feel jealous, what happens? What do you focus on? You usually focus on the mental projections and the mental chatter. Go to the root of the emotion. Go to the, what motivates those mental chatters and, 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 and mental images, which is the emotion, and observe it. Become more curious about the cause and the effect. Become more curious about the emotion than the reactions of those emotions. You see? So notice it. Notice the space. Ask yourself. I wonder what's going on inside of me at this moment and just notice it and just become aware of it all right usually when you feel jealous you're trying to feel better right ask yourself am I trying to feel better right now and you just notice it okay you notice it and then after you notice you're trying to feel better ask yourself what would happen if I stop trying to feel better just for one minute hmm. I was trying to feel better just about a second ago Hey, that feels so much better, right? It's crazy. This shit works, man. And so, because this is the thing is that that tension is there to help you feel better. So you just have to notice it and realize that you are trying to feel better and let go. Like you feel like literally, it, like a weight drops off your shoulder. Don't try not to feel jealous as well. Don't try not to feel better because it'll increase it. 
It's just kind of like saying, I don't want to think of an elephant. You usually think of an elephant. When you try not to, not to think of an elephant, when you try not to feel jealous, what happens? You're trying to feel better. All right? It's like trying to put down fire with fire. No, relax. Observe it. <sighs> Breathe into it. You can't use the same thing that's causing you pain to help you better, which is content. You can't use your mind, the contents of your mind, to help you feel better. That's temporary. You have to use what contains the contents of your mind, which is the present, your awareness. When being and doing jealous things, smile at yourself and have compassion for your body. You know it's hard not to feel jealous. So if you, are, if you do feel jealous, that means those mental, neurological pathways are there. You can't change it. So rather than judging yourself and feel shitty, have compassion for yourself. You have to have compassion for yourself and, 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 and smile at your body. Your body's trying to make you feel better. It's trying to help you out. So rather than feel bad and say, man, I wish I wasn't a jealous girl, realize that you are not your body, per se. And, and just have compassion. Be like, you know what, body? I know you're trying to make you feel better. And just let your body, try to, let your body do what it's doing and observe it and have compassion for your body. All right? Um, the other one is, the second one, unintimidate yourself. Focus on the now when things get tough. Fear and anxiety are all emotions that come from the future projection, which is what jealousy is all about. Focus your attention on the now and it'll work. Similar to not trying to think of an elephant. All right? So focus your full attention on the present moment. Bring all of your attention to what's going on, which primarily comes down to being present. So there are different ways. Bring your attention to all to your senses. Ask yourself, what's going on right now? What's going on right now? Just notice what's going on right now. When you fully bring your attention to what's going on right now, it, it, it takes away the attention from your mental images, from your, from your mind. You're not going to notice the thoughts and emotions. I mean, the thoughts and the images. You're just going to notice the emotions, which you're going to convert into physical sensations. So rather than jealousy, you just feel the sensation of jealousy. And you write it and you notice it. Hmm, tension here, tension there. Thoughts arising. Huh, huh. You're kind of like becoming a, a, a scientist of your own reactions. Th three, realize that the problem isn't the situation, which is the guy or the, the, you're seeing a different picture with a girl, whatever. It's not, that's not the problem. But your state of mind. You, your filtering system that dictates whether you're going to feel negative or positive about a certain event. When you feel sad or when you feel insecure, you usually feel more jealous. That all, that all depends on your state of mind, your filtering system. When you're mad at him or when he fucks up, per se, you usually feel more jealous. When you feel like he is cheating on you, you usually feel more jealous, all right? Now, I'm not talking about that because that's normal. You have suspicion. Now, I'm talking about when, you, when you're demanding his attention. When you're demanding his attention to, to help you feel better. To, 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 conf to conform you to your own insecurities. That's a problem. So what you have to do then is observe the, 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 the lack of peace inside of yourself. Observe it. Notice how there is a lack of peace and bring a lot of attention and awareness to it. Because when you do, it calms your system down. It calms you down. It relaxes you. And a lot of times, it's not that you are just jealous. It's just that have, you have a detachment to yourself. You don't feel comfortable with yourself, so you want somebody else to be that comforting presence. And that's because you are, you are out of touch with yourself. You, don't, you, you, are, you are compartmentalizing yourself. You don't, you, there are certain parts of yourself that you believe you cannot meet. And so rather than bringing your attention to it, you try to subconsciously tell somebody else to help you fulfill it. And they do, or at least it looks like they do. And as a result, you grab onto them harder because they're like, oh, fuck, you fulfill me. A little do you know that they, little do you know that what they're doing, you could do on your own, but at a deeper level. But you have to use these strategies and bring a lot of attention to that neediness. Because you're, this whole time, you were looking to fix a circumstance. But now, you're looking to fix the cause of your circumstance, which is your perception. Alright? I'm going to make this video as, as short as I could today, okay? Have different sources of happiness. Most people have one primary source of happiness. You want to have different sources. When you have no social support, it's gonna, or you are alone a lot, the things that the guy does matter to you more. You have, you must have other sources of happiness in order to avoid that trap. When he's your only source of happiness, when he, when, when, when he's the dream guy you always wanted, there's nobody else like him. It's gonna, it's gonna be difficult for you to, to have a relationship that's, that's of a healthy attachment. 
So what you have to do then is find other sources of happiness. Find what makes you happy and do it. Even better, find a social event. Things that you could do socially on a consistent basis and do it if you don't have any friends. Like me, I'm going to sign up for improv class by hopefully by, hopefully by this week. Improv, improvisational. You know, you have, a, you have to have different sources of happiness. Not just one woman or one man. Because then you're going to depend on them too much and that's an unfair situation to put them in. Meditate and become your own source and become attuned to your own needs. Realize that jealousy is more of an inadequacy rather than losing him. It's not that you don't want to lose him, but rather you don't want to lose yourself by losing him. And the last one, if you're going to confront them of your jealousy through your, you saying, you know what, I think I, I, my jealousy is based on fact. If you are going to confront them, take a step back and observe it so that you don't go in it emotionally. So if you do feel jealous and you feel like confront them, there's not, nothing wrong with confronting them, but bring awareness to the jealousy, breathe into it, right? Okay, 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 and then confront them. All right, it's gonna be more healthier, more relaxed, rather than feeling just and boom and going into it. No, 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 no. Don't go Jerry Springer style. Okay, relax. Observe it. Ask yourself, am I trying to feel better? Notice it. Ask yourself, what would happen if I stop trying to feel better? Okay, okay, and then take action. Because if you don't, there's gonna be emotion emotionally. So, anyways, this is how you do it, right? My battery's dying, so I have to make it quick. Okay. Anyways, it's Alan from MindForAttraction.org. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to mindforjackson.org slash coach in the pocket. Um, if you guys need, if you guys want to check out my podcast, go to my podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the link below. Check it out. Good episodes. I should be putting up one up this week. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.